What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be working on my theme park in Theme Park Tycoon 2. So I originally made a video showing the new update, but it wasn't, there wasn't enough to be in one video. It ended up being like three minutes. Either I did it too quick or there wasn't enough. Probably I did it too quick. I've remade this like three times because I did not have space. I chose this floorless coaster, then a wooden coaster, and this is the only other coaster I could think of that would fit in this small of an area. It looks big, but trust me, it's small. It really is small. The only option is like deleting those coasters, but I want to keep them even though they aren't my best work, and I could go in this area, but it would mess up all the supports, and I'd have to like go and like manually make it. So let's just, instead of doing the drop, let's just go into the lift hill out of the station. Now this, this shouldn't be like too high. It's like a corkscrew coaster after all, it shouldn't really be too high. So now I'm going to do like the curve drops that some of these feature in real life. Where they curve to the right or left. What happened to pivot offset? Come on! So it's kind of like an inverting drop right now because I banked it so much. Let me actually bank it a little more. So I may need to go underground a bit or I could just... That looks so awful. Like the... Transition does not look smooth. I gotta mute. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. I want it to, like, go down like this and then have overbanked right here. Ugh! This game is so annoying! Time lapse here, so I'll be back. All right, now I've made like a horrible corkscrew, and these coasters usually don't have like long layouts, so I'm thinking maybe like a loop next. Yeah, I'll make a loop. I don't know how to do this, so this loop is going to be horrible. Just telling you in advance. Um, it's going to be horrible. I wish this game had, like, better loops or basic, like, made stuff. So that way I could have, like, made a loop and resized it. Because it's, like, ridiculously small, the loop. Oh my gosh, this loop is awful. Just don't comment about it. It's awful. I messed it up right there. I messed the loop up. Alright. Forget about the loop. Let's just do, like, a barrel roll of some sort. Yeah, let's do a barrel roll. Right now I want this ride to like go inside of a building before it goes to like the break run which is going to be right here and that's going to be a hard building to make. So this isn't the best ride of this type but it's something better than most and these rides normally are like very rough. Now this is the worst break run known ever. Ever made in this game, probably. Definitely. I don't know why I said probably. Because it's the worst, definitely. 
All right, so now let's go to making the entrance, which will be right here. And unfortunately, I will have to make the exit on the same side. So I'm gonna use ceilings for this because it doesn't, I don't like the step right here. So like it aligns with the train, the table collisions. I think as long as I have a path underneath it, the guests should be able to walk on this. And I should have brought this queue out, but it's a bit too late now. Right, so now let's go to making a fence right here. So kind of like a real life station with the with these things here for you to wait. I wanted the exit on the other side so that way I could like move it across but I don't really have the space for that so it is fine right now and then I'll just use the step down like this thing right here oh gosh come on well really should have thought this out a bit better but this is going to be like an odd staircase. Alright, now we can go down. Let, let me just get this. Alright, let's go down. This is my like first station using this. My first station that, I'm, that I've made in this game using this. Oh my gosh, game! Come on! This is like breaking! And now we'll use the step down. And we'll have the step down there. And I'm just going to cover that up with walls so that way it looks like it's a real queue and it doesn't need to like look weird with the four things. Where is the curved wall? There it is, there it is. want to forget doing this. Yeah. Alright, concrete. Alright, we'll do that. And then I'm going to want it to go down a bit. does come out perfect. Alright, I'm going to time lapse here so I don't run out of time for this video.
there we go. I have finished the, uh, I have finished the queue supports, and I will do the exit off camera. So now let's get to riding the ride, and I'll do the rest of the work off camera. And I'll post a community picture of the finished station. So, alright, so let's ride it now, because this video is so long now. I didn't know stations could take this long. This is my first, like, legit station in the game. I used to make, like, building stations. Set. I'm gonna speed up the lift hill off camera. Okay, now that corkscrew was smoother than I thought, and this ride is, like, terribly short. It just goes through a corkscrew and then a barrel roll, and then it's done. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on as I upload every three days. And if I won't be able to upload one of the three days, I will make a community post about it. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you do, if you did, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!